G'day ladies and gentlemen, Beachy Bruce here for the Mine Lab Show. I've been doing a little bit of work over the Christmas break. I did a little bit of a tour through Victoria, took the Equinox 900 over there with me. Uh, also took the 6000 and did some gold hunting. However, today I'm in Adelaide and I'm doing some $1 and $2 coin shooting with the Equinox 900. It's a little bit different using the 900 because when you use the 800, the TIDs were 19 to 23. So now that the 900 has expanded that out to 119 TIDs, then you're going to experience numbers which are going to fluctuate some more. However, I've learned a couple of tips and tricks that I picked up whilst hunting over in Victoria for ones and twos that I can show you here today. So the first thing is, is my settings on the machine. I'm using Park 2. I've got the machine set up to have the fastest recovery there is, which is eight. My sensitivity is fairly low at 15. I am finding that the Equinox 9 has a lot of sensitivity, picks up a lot of things, but also can be a little bit noisy around EMI. So I am finding that in certain circumstances, like in the city where I am now, dropping it back still nets you plenty of targets. And let's face it, we're not digging holes to China when we're in parks anyway. Now, the other thing too is, is I've set up a coin program here, but I haven't blanked out the minuses because I'm finding I'm digging a lot less bottle tops that have any ferrous content because the machine is letting me know that that has a ferrous content. So from zero to minus 19, I have those notched in, so I have those available. And then from 60 to 70 is my target range and everything else is notched out. So as I'm fast swinging over the top of the parklands, I will get pips and pops. I can come back in onto those targets and then to work out whether that is a $1 or a $2 coin, I'm watching the ferrous response. And at the same time, I'm bringing that small target directly over in the spline of the coil where both of the halves of the double D meet. That stabilizes that number. And I'm generally finding that $2 coins fall between 61 to 63. And the $1 coins tend to be more around the 67 to 68. So let's just do a quick dig on this one. Pretty sure it's a $1 coin and pretty close to the surface. We'll get this one out of the ground, have a quick listen and see where we go from there. All right, so it's a rapid swing. So I'm getting numbers from 63 to 70. sure it's going to be a one dollar coin and not too deep so we've pinpointed that should be right here somewhere oh maybe a little bit a little bit deeper than i expected and there it is uh, let's get, uh, just hit it I'm not actually digging a hole here guys, I'm just moving a little bit of loose soil around. There he is. Alright, so there we go, dollar coin out of the ground. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I've only done about an hour, maybe an hour and a half worth of one and two dollar coin shooting with the Equinox 900. And those are the tips that I've picked up so far. So you can really narrow down between 60 and 70 if you're only doing one and $2 coins, leave your ferrous open to help you reject bottle caps, uh, get the response speed as fast as you can, and don't go overboard with your sensitivity because you just don't need it in these parkland type scenario. I've done plenty of water work with this over at the Christmas break as well, and I've got some videos that I'm putting together on those. I had a six ring day, which I thought was pretty damn awesome, and pulled out a silver from an unbelievable depth. Those videos will be coming up in the near future, so you can see some of the performance of the machine down on the beaches, and I look forward to seeing you then. Mm -hmm.